So welcome everybody to this latest video on 162 Mat, and in this video we'll be continuing with the theme of working through some AQA GCSE Mat foundation topic tests with the focus of rounding to decimal places. Now as always there'll be a copy of the test paper in the description below for you either to have an attempt at before watching this video or while watching as we go through the answers. Now before we get started it's worth mentioning that some of these questions there's no indication of whether they are calculator or non-calculator so where possible we'll not use a calculator and only use a calculator if needs must. So let's get started looking at question one. So with question 1a it says round 7.24 to one decimal place. Now again reminding you that decimal places basically means how many numbers they want after the decimal point regardless of whether it's zero or whatever. So for this the basic method is you underline however many numbers we want, which is one, and we circle the number that's next to it, which I'm just going to highlight. Oh, not this out. And if that highlighted number is greater than four, then we add one to the underlying number. Now, this one isn't greater than four, the highlighted number, which is four, so it stays as 7.2. Then with question 1b, the correct answer you should have to one decimal place is 4.4. .4. For question C, it says round 13.4498 to one decimal place. The correct answer you should have is 13.4. For question 2A, it says round 3.789 to two decimal places. So that's going to be 79. So it's 3.79. Then for B, it says round 0 0.0481 to two decimal places. And so circle the eight and that's bigger than four so we add one to the underlying number making it 0 0.05 then for question 2c it says round 25.30 to f747 to two decimal places and that correct answer is going to be 25.30 now a question i always get asked is if your last digit is a zero do you have to write it well if the question says two decimal places it basically wants two digits after the decimal point so in theory yes you should write it moving on to question 3a it says round 1.2345 to three decimal places this time and the correct answer you should have is 1.235 and for question 3b it says round 0.03 zero eight uh, six two to three decimal places so again the first three digits is zero three zero six is the next digit that's bigger than one so i add one to the underlying number making it zero point zero three one then for question three c rounding this number up to three decimal places and so that's going to be two point six zero zero then for question four this we actually do need to type into our calculator. So let me just load that calculator up. Here I enter 3.79 multiplied by 2.53, press equals. So I'm gonna round this number to one decimal place. Rounding that number to one decimal place gives me an answer of 9.6. Then for this one, we wanna calculate the square root of 32.8. Now if I enter that on my calculator, I should end it with an answer of 5.7. 2712825 and this is a number I want to round to one decimal place so it's going to be 5.7. For question 4c that there is 1.3 to the power of 7 and if I enter that on the calculator it gives me an answer of 6.2748517 so rounding this number to one decimal place becomes 6.3. Now moving on to question five. Now this question, if I, it'd be a bit difficult if you're reading this off the screen. So it's 11.5, 65.3, minus 23.78. And let's just type that in. Now it's really important you do know how to enter these complex calculations on your calculator. 11.5 over 65.3, minus 23.78. Uh, that looks absolutely exact. So you press the SD button and I get an answer of 0 0.27697495518. And so I run around this number up to four decimal places. So then it becomes 0 0.2770. Then moving on to question 
5b it says the cube root that is and so it's the cube root of 13 and so if i enter that on the calculator it gives me an answer of 2.35133468 so round this number to four decimal places, I get an answer of 2.3513. Then for 5C, keep your cursor. So again, I want to enter this all on the calculator. And if I look at it at face value, it should all give me an answer of 7. Point... Right, let's keep doing that. So 7.11764 So round this number up to four decimal places, it's going to be 7.1176. Then for question 5D, we want to calculate the square root of 11.3 plus 7.45. So if I enter that all on my calculator, I should end up with an answer of 4.3301270. Then rounding us up to four decimal places, I get 4.3301. And then moving on to 5e, it says work out the square root of 4 over 7 to four decimal places. And so working that on the calculator, I get 0 0.75928946. And then round that number up to four decimal places becomes 0 0.75596. And then finally, 1.2 to the power of 5. Well, that's going to give me an answer of 2.48832. Rounding that number up to four decimal places, I get 2.4883. And that concludes this first test on rounding.